Hello, my name is Jonathan Dixon, Vice President of International Corporate Services at OTC Markets Group. Today I'm joined in London by James Collins, Director of Investor Relations at Sainsbury's PLC. Sainsbury's trade in the London Stock Exchange and on the OTC QX Best Market in the United States under JSAIY and JSNSF. James, thank you for joining us. James, can you talk about Sainsbury's market share performance in the grocery? Can you also talk about the recent performance in other parts of the Sainsbury's businesses? Yeah, thanks. So um, over the last two years, we've gained volume market share um, in our grocery business. So sales over two years are up 7.6%. Um, so that compares to the pre-pandemic year. So a lot, you know, a, a big increase in the amount of food that people are eating at home. Um, and we've outperformed the market. So hence the, the market share gain. So both on one years and two year, uh, you know, we're, we're gaining volume market share. And I think that reflects the investments we've made in value, uh, in innovation, and the, the steps forward we've made in, in customer service. James, what trends are you seeing in consumer behaviour patterns post-pandemic? So we're seeing you know, a, a huge shift. So if you look over, you know, since, um, since March 2020, um, we've seen you know, a number of phases of the way that people are behaving. Um, the biggest shift we've seen on a post-pandemic basis has been since the start of this year. And we are seeing um, spend patterns normalising, so people spending more uh, money on food outside of the home. That takes spend out of grocery, but still grocery sales are higher than they were pre-pandemic because more people are working um, uh, outside of uh, offices and so spending more time at home, so more food consumption is happening on the home. And we think there's pr still some normalisation to come, but that will persist, we think. James, we've recently seen that you've updated your capital allocation framework. Can you please talk us through this? Yeah, so what that reflects is the fact that we've really had great success in the last few years paying down debt. So we have now very little uh, debt um, um, other than uh, lease debt on our balance sheet. Um, and so that means more of our cash flow can be allocated to returning that to shareholders in the form of dividends. So in the first instance, we've said that we are increasing our dividend payout ratio to around 60%, whereas it has been around 50%. Great. James, how has Sainsbury's developed in terms of ESG and sustainability? So we made a, a, a really big step forward uh, this year. So in June, we, we held a, a, day, a, a day really focused on ESG for kind of investors, the outside world and our business, where we launched our plan for better. Um, and what that really focused on was the areas that are most material to us, where we know we can make the most difference. Um, and I think that's brought real focus, um, uh, you know, in obviously in areas um, such as you know, reducing our carbon footprint, um, but in other wider areas um, around our plan for better, which focuses on better for you, better for the planet and better for everyone. So across the gamut of ESG. How has trading on the OTCQX helped the company convey its IR message to US investors? It's pretty simple, really. It's, um, it just really gives much easier access uh, to US investors uh, for our shares uh, and also provides a good information platform. So all of the information uh, is available also on the OTC platform. Great. James, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.